just from my experience uh, with Seneca, uh, before I before I come to Canada and before I know Seneca, uh, I I did comparison among all the colleges, and I found that Seneca is a uh, it's actually my second choice. My first choice was actually a, another college with a start with C. In these two years of the experience with Seneca, I I find out that uh, a lot of things has has already been designed very properly to cater students' needs. Uh, it, uh, starts from accommodation, uh, and then the skate rings and or sports activities. And uh, like uh, all these uh, students' advisor, which is quite very, which is very useful. And I use, and I, I personally benefited a lot from uh, having one-to-one -one personal tutor. And I got most of my subjects A uh, because of I attend, I, I book, I make appointment with tutor and meet up with them to solve all my academic questions. So really thanks to them. I can't, I, um, forgive me, I can't remember their name. I, but I really appreciate Seneca has this type of uh, wonderful service for students. And um, the next thing I would like to share is the, um, I, uh, when I look for a job um, from Seneca, I think this will, this will be quite interesting for most of you. Uh, the I think the career advisor. Uh, I forgot his name. I hope I can remember that. He's a gentleman, very nice gentleman. Um, he's very helpful. He, he even point out which part of my attire, uh, that I should t take care of, and uh, how, uh, how how should I speak and express myself. And he even uh, revised my resume and point out which part that I, uh, which keywords keywords I should use. So all of them are very helpful. Um, I think another point is that we ourselves we come from Malaysia. Uh, we don't have many colleges like um, Seneca, though we have some other colleges like Sunway uh, University. Uh, with the training program, um, but to have a different experience in a foreign country like Canada, uh, it's a new learning stage. So it's an, uh, especially the weather and the culture here. So it's something different for us to learn. So at the beginning, it's a it's a steep learning curve. So at the end, because of the pace here, people are more polite, and the pace here are. I would I wouldn't say slow, but they are they work smart and um, people are more patient. So I really appreciate the culture here. So yeah, the the personal feeling of thankfulness is very important for us to quickly adapt to a, a new environment uh, everywhere we go. So other than all those uh, outside uh, external factors, we ourselves we. Uh, we should learn how to be thankful as well. Uh, yesterday, I heard uh, one of my friends who is uh, studying in another college. Um, he, sh he shared to me that um, the college that he, he studies, uh, they don't have a career fair like Seneca because Seneca actively organized a lot of career fairs, which I personally attended um, three or four of them. Uh, when towards my end of towards my end of the semester, uh, semester, so which is very helpful. And some big company, some big companies also um come came to Seneca and uh, give talk. Even their director and CEO also uh, came to Seneca. So I I have a chance to meet up with them, and I feel very encouraged because um Seneca, Seneca really. Uh, organize something that uh, the result can be seen at ultimately, which is not everything on on concept. So it's it's a very practical uh, college and all the courses that was I would say. And 
And thanks to that also, thanks to Seneca also because of the, all this encouragement and supportive. I recently got a job from uh, Bell. So I currently work with Bell. Uh, after about uh, two months of job searching, I did post a lot of uh, resume as well. Uh, if you if you if you feel that you want to have a, a job job search like special tips, you can contact me personally. You if you like because we are all Malaysian here. So saling uh, bantu membantu. Um, I think that's all from me at the moment. Oh, at the beginning, uh, I think it's very, very tough because um, I don't have any. Uh, I would say I don't know the requirements as that as requirements here, so I keep on changing my resume. I don't know how many times I'm countable. Uh, I don't know what the keywords I should I should put in. But luckily, um, uh, the career advisor he he suggested suggested me a few a few ideas which is quite useful. So I ended up I ended up um I, I learned I learned the actually there are some tricks to to use so I put into the resume. Um I, and then I posted mainly on Indeed as well and ended up uh some uh, job agency. They they call me, and uh, I work as a contract as a contract staff uh, for one year. So luckily during this COVID time, still can get a job. Uh, thanks thanks to those uh, job agent as well. So I didn't apply for co op because I want to fully concentrate on on my study. So I finished the two years uh, diploma course, and I start looking for a job. Uh, one thing about um, a slightly advantage of me is that I have a previous working experience, so that which helps. But I also uh, found out that if you all, if if uh, if the resume we put in sufficient keywords, um, and then we can quickly attract job agents and companies to look for look for us. So, which I I would like to help personally, especially Malaysian here, uh, because I because Malaysian are rare in Canada land. So, I have a feeling of a uh, I would like to yeah encourage more Malaysian to be here as well, <clears throat> because because we all understand how Malaysian econ Malaysia economy and the and the politics situation is. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that, that's our topic. Uh, to be to be honest, I I personally like. To meet up with more um, Malaysian, and uh, during the August thirty first every year, there's a Malaysian community. They organize a, a Merdeka celebration at somewhere somewhere in, um, in 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 Toronto, so, which is very interesting. We share all those delicious foods. So, um, because of the thankfulness, I I also like to help. Um, Malaysia, other than Malaysian, uh, and also Seneca, as a as a return of the thankfulness, and also to help myself as well. Um, the job I I got is a um, uh, data analyst, uh, marketing 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 department. It's a data analyst job. So because I I previously some uh, data analysis experience so um so it, it helps actually so when the interview asked me about uh, whether i use sql before those are it it terms i think nobody is it here right uh painting is from painting is studying like uh, mission oriented communities community service ian studying travel I don't know what, what child study. So for those who study IT, I would I would say um, during the interview time when they ask us about uh, whether you you know this and that. So because IT uh, IT is an evolving evolving subject and uh, 
the technology keep, keep on changing. So there are many things that we don't know. So, but we don't get, we don't, we, we, we don't need to be scared of, we don't, don't need to be afraid of, of, of all these un, um, things that we don't know. We, we still use our logic thinking to answer the questions. So those areas that we, we really don't know, we just, yeah, we just, to be honest, that we, we, we don't know. Just tell the employee that we, we say that we don't know. But um, confidence is, is a very important element. When uh, employer uh, interview us or hiring manager interview us, we, uh, I, I personally practice a lot um, in front of the mirror. There's no other special trick. So in fact, the job agent told me as well, you, you need to read the news, read out loud for a few days, uh, read cbc.ca news for a few days, uh, read the very long, very, very long, uh, past, uh, long news story. Keep on reading for like two or three days, then you'll be fine for the interview because, uh, the English slang here, um, it's a little bit different from Malaysian. So we need to speak very clearly and confidently. So, uh, resume is one, one thing. Uh, putting in all the important keywords, and secondly, the during the job interview time, which is that, which is the next stage, I find out that many of my classmates uh, didn't get through. It's because of the interview they they express themselves um, not confident enough. So uh, the tips from the job agent helps helps a lot. Really, uh, read the newspaper, read out loud, and uh, practice interview. In front of the, in front of the like your monitor or whatever mirror, and then play back and see see ourselves, see yourself how your interview performance is, then yes. you'll be fine. <laughs> I think the environment in Seneca, I attend because we so called forced to attend some English classes, right? So we need to create uh, reports like um, annual reports and those um, brief, brief brief briefing note brief note is very important i didn't know that uh, until i joined seneca uh, and studied it and studied the course i have some work experience um, but not as professional enough as what the what the subject taught me uh, during my, I think, fourth semester, I would say most of the most of professors in Seneca are very, very professional because they are very highly qualified and uh, they have their already uh, many years of uh, working experience, professional skills. Then they employed by Seneca to teach us. So although there are some commercial things that we, we, we might not know, but the most important thing is uh, through the through the exchange of the practical business environment, they share their knowledge to us, which uh, very intensively actually. Uh, so all the all the key points that they taught in the in the course in the in the class, uh, try I try my best to take notes all the all the all the class notes, so which which helps, and all those documented. Document, documents, uh, training, and a personal presentation. And uh, uh, another key point is try to try to have your own study group, which will help a lot. Because uh, studying at Seneca alone is actually very, very lonely, I would say, because we are a rare community here, Malaysian, right? So we... So when I first came here, that I I told myself that I have to uh, form study group with whoever uh, people who like to contribute and study together. So from first semester until the until the the end of the fourth semester, I keep on having study group. Uh, a few students, like four or five students, in the study group, we study together. 
So that 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 will help a lot. And we go to the tutor, we go to one one on one tutor together as well. And we have a like a tuition after class tuition, right? So I remember the first semester during the Unix class. Uh, Unix is something new for me. I haven't learned Unix before. So I I uh, I, I won't say I, I haven't learned Unix before. I I would I would say I I didn't use Unix as much as in Seneca before. Um, I will, I have a little bit of Unix back um, knowledge, but I don't use that much. So I find it very challenging during my first first semester. So I use I attend all the tuition classes that uh, after the class Seneca give give to us additionally. So and I also got a, got a good subject thanks to thanks to the tutor. I, I think I think because of the cultural difference, uh, we might have a uh, some of us uh, might have a cultural shock. Some students, I I'm not the one that have cultural shock because I, I'm a, I'm an easygoing person, so so I don't know. I, but I, uh, I would say, when wherever we go, especially in Canada, uh, I try to get. The the one of the one of the priority that we should put into the list is to find out who are the uh people from the same country. So we don't uh ignore this important thing uh easily. So try to find out who are the Malaysian, especially in Canada. Uh, sorry, especially in Seneca. Find out who are they, and then uh keep in touch with them and make friends with them. And have your own study group, and use all the facilities that Seneca provide because we pay. No, sorry. We uh one thing is we we pay for that. Another thing is Seneca has the has a very good design and um arrangement for all these type of facilities that help students. So while joining the uh, after class class tutor, you will find. Uh, who are the students really seriously uh, studying the subject and get along with them together as well and as and invite them into your study group as well because those are the people who really uh, committed they want to achieve uh, a very good standard in the academic level i think those uh, who seriously study they they put the same seriousness in job searching as well so it's the same it's the same energy, uh, because this type of this type of mentality won't uh, won't differ between your academic and and job search. If you put seriously in your in your personal achievement that you set a goal that you want to, uh, not not to say achieve all the A's, but those subjects that you want to achieve A, as long as you have the, have the focus, and you want to achieve that. So you, it's good that you attend the after class tutor. And make as much appointment with the one-on-one -on -one tutor uh, to solve all the questions that you don't know. So all this will help you to uh, train yourself, become a a very um, confident person when you when we look for a job. So it's the same energy level actually. Uh, the focusness. I think throughout the two years with Seneca, I trained myself to be a a better focused person instead of a better uh, academic or or more skillful and more knowledgeable. The the key the key ingredient is the focus. Yeah, use the Seneca as a platform to train ourselves as as a very focused person.